Hey guys, so today we are going to talk about the component velocity. It's similar to the component percent from the last tutorial because we get float values, but in this case we get the velocity, the distance, and again the percent. So an example we have here, if we move this, first of all, I'm not going to talk about the percent because we have an on tutorial covering this. It's just a value from 0 to 1. The distance in this case is from 0 to 200. And the reason for this is the drag component. And again, we have a separate tutorial covering the drag component. So I'm not going to talk about this in much detail, but I wanted to show you where the 200 is coming from. So we have our two sections here, the start here with a value of zero and the other one. And in this case, it's 200. So we can move the slider 200 centimeters in one direction. If we change this, for example, to 150, we can only move it to around here. And you will see that the distance now only moves to 150. So now this distance slider is from 0 to 150. So it really depends where this value is coming from. And this might be very handy if you want, for example, every 10 steps or something like this, you want something to happen. The distance could be a great indicator to do this. We're not going to build a distance example here because I'm pretty sure you, you get the idea of what you can do with it. Today we are going to talk about the velocity. So the velocity is a little different from the other two here. In the case that you can have a negative velocity if you move it in the negative direction and a positive one if you move it in the positive direction. Another thing is the velocity, you can see if I move it slow, I get a very low velocity in both directions. And if I move it fast, these values really get large. So something like 10, maybe even 20. I'm going to create a new blueprint here. Let's call it velocity and drop it in here. Open it up. And first of all, let's add our component velocity. Hit compile. You can see we have different values here. Again, we have the in editor velocity state changed and we have our velocity changed. For this tutorial, I'm going to use only the in game. So the velocity changed event. And what we get here is of course, like with all our components, we have the source info. So where is the actual information coming from? Who is the pawn interacting and things like this. And we have the value. If we break this, you can see now we have the distance, the percent and the velocity. What we are going to do here, let me think. Let's create a point light. I want the color to be green like this. But if the velocity is greater, then let's let's say maybe five. And one thing to keep in mind here, this would only be true for positive values. So if I'm moving it in a positive direction here, if I also want to make sure that I cover the other direction, I want to use the absolute value here. So this removes the, the minus like this. And if the velocity is larger, I want to set the light color To red like this. Let's keep it like this for now. 
So this could be useful if you're creating something like, like a training and the user is supposed to drag a slider very slowly, otherwise it will break or something like this. So we're doing a very simple example here, but in our example, if the user is dragging this slider here too fast, which he should not do, the light turns red. The next thing, again, we need to connect both of them in order for this to work. We need our component tag. Let's call it velocity light. Going to copy this name, hit compile and save. Open my drag component. First, I'm going to add the actor, this one here, and then I'm going to add the component tag to search. That's the one I have just created. And now they are hooked up and should already work like we want them to. So if the user is doing what we want him to do, so move the slider slowly, everything is fine. But as soon as we get over five, it should turn to red. Let's try it out. Yes, perfect. Let's also try out if the other direction is working. So let's move it to the other side. Yes, it's also working. We have created a very simple training scenario where we check if the user moved the slider slowly. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I'm going to see you in the next tutorial. Bye.